Last November, we visited Jekyll Island while spending six months in the Georgia area around St. Simons Island. Serenity, rosy spoonbills, Spanish moss-covered trees, historic homes, bike paths, beaches, and marshes were ours for a few days. To visit Jekyll Island while sailing, enter St. Simons Inlet and turn to the west along the intercoastal waterway. We anchored in St. Simons Bay, which is a designated anchorage, not too close to the marsh as it gets very shallow. We had a great view of the Brunswick Bridge, were greeted by stingrays on our arrival, and enjoyed beautiful sunsets and sunrises while at anchor. Jekyll Island is famous for its seemingly endless bike paths that wind around the island. Plan an entire day for this sightseeing adventure. Our favorite spots were the historic district, Driftwood Beach, and the Clan Creek Fishing Pier. We set off one morning for a dinghy ride down East River long but very beautiful. Of course Stephen scoped out his fishing spots for future trout catches and we enjoyed watching the area's pink and white rosy spoonbill. This looked like a juvenile with its lighter color. Rosy spoonbills forage in the shallows of fresh brackish and marine waters including bays, mangroves, forested swamps, and wetlands. They nest and roost in trees and shrubs along the water's edge. We stopped at Jekyll Island Marina where we docked and rented bikes for 20 bucks. They also have a restaurant and a pool and some boats that have seen better days. You can alternatively dock at the Wharf restaurant but be sure to check as time and rates vary depending on the season. Our first stop was the National Historic Landmark District which features the Jekyll Island Club Resort. A little bit of history for you. In 1733, General James Oglethorpe founded the colony of Georgia named Jekyll Island in honor of Sir Joseph Jekyll, his friend and financier from England. In 1736, English, Spanish, and Creek Indians met there for negotiations. In 1747, the state's first brewery opened. In 1792, Christophe Dubignon. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but it is French. Anyway, Christophe purchased part of the island in 1879. Christophe's descendant and his brother-in-law started a private hunting club for the nation's wealthiest individuals. The rest of the story and images can be found at JekyllClub.com. Worth a stop for the history, grandeur, and manicured grounds as well as dining and golf. Don't miss the pathways viewing the numerous cottages, I say that lightly, of the wealthy 1% of the late 1800s who wintered there with their families. Victorian structures are surrounded by landscape lawns and gardens accented by fountains and reflecting pools. Driftwood Beach is a popular natural area right on the point of the inlet where natural forces create breathtaking photo ops with coastal trees, sand, water, and sun. Don't miss the Jekyll Island Fishing Pier down Clam Creek Road, which is a long, winding path of live oaks dripping with Spanish moss with a base of palmettos. It is absolutely gorgeous and something not to miss. We had quite a few foggy mornings around the St. Simons Island area, as you'll see here. It's a foggy day today. You see the tops of the bridge are gone. Saw a few boats out there this morning, fishermen mostly. A couple of freighters that went by. But yeah, it's foggy. The here horn usually means a freighter that's exiting. Let everybody know. Okay, it's a little later in the morning. Well, you would hope the fog is burning off. It's actually getting thicker. The bridge is out of sight completely. All aspects of land over at St. Simon are out of sight completely down towards the inlet. Of course, can't see any of the buoys or anything where the crane is on the big ship. Pretty much virtually nothing there. To 
until we get right over here, right behind the boat where we're anchored down. Close to the intercoastal waterway. You start to see a little bit of land. So not much out here except fog. And no see them gnats. Yep, plenty of those. Oof. They're starting to swarm. Oh, we could go fishing right now, it'd be good, but bring your boat spread. I gotta go. See you. Steven. They are pretty trout. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That'd be good dinner. Woo! I think we're gonna have that for Thanksgiving dinner. There you go. Sounds good to me. I made trout almondine and just a trick, soak your trout in milk with hot sauce before cooking and it will have a really great flavor. Riding along the bike trail at Jekyll Island today. Lovely day to do so. Fog is not quite lifted yet, but it's close. But yeah, it's really pretty here. Huh? Yeah, this is really great. Lovely bike trail. We uh, dinghied up to the marina, borrowed a couple of bikes, 20 bucks to park your dinghy and get bikes all day. The Jekyll Island bike trail totals about 15 miles and is plenty wide for bi-directional riders. There are also a few shortcuts that weave through the maritime forest in the center of the island if you do need a shorter route, but most of the inner island is unsettled. It's prettier than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's really nice. It's just, it's lovely. Full of palmetto brush. All these oak trees are just dripping with Spanish moss. Very nice bike trail. Take us around to the ocean side. Great they made these trails instead of being right on the road. Yeah, it's really great. That's Jekyll Island Marina. Jekyll Island Marina, it's next to the wharf. Yeah, now you can, you can dinghy to the wharf for free, rent bikes for nine bucks an hour, $29 a day, or dinghy to the Jekyll Island Marina, pay $20 for a dinghy fee, but you get two free bikes. So that would have been $9 an hour, $29 a day per bike. So, hey, talking major savings here from the fine folks at Jekyll Island Marina. And able to fuel the dinghy while we were there, of course. Lots of time for lunch breaks, beach breaks, and plenty of scenic views. You won't be disappointed. Here's a nice view of this steamy Spanish moss dripping humidity southern atmosphere. It's actually not real humid, it's just finished raining a moment ago, so makes it really nice. Steam coming off. 
There's this fog this morning. Steamy, drippy trail this afternoon. Isn't it lovely? All these beautiful oaks. The whole island's covered with them. It's a big island. The majority of it's maritime forest. It's really beautiful. There was a really great public state park at the tip of the island. A lot of people down there fishing on a pier. Fishing around the marshes. Family time is great. But this maritime forest is beautiful. Pick up the trail guide before you go around the island. It will show you all the great spots that you can stop at along the way.